Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is part one in a brand new series on Tkinter. So Tkinter is a super popular Python library. It's used for building these GUIs or graphical user interfaces or desktop apps if you want to call them that. So in this series, we're going to go through Tkinter. We're going to go through the very basics. We're going to talk fundamentals, explanations, why this works like that. What does this mean? What are the different properties associated with each widget? And then we're going to build up towards building a project at the end of the series. So stay tuned for that. I will be posting videos regularly. And yeah, that's really it. In today's video, part one, we're going to be talking Tkinter basics. So how you're going to build your very first app using Tkinter. We'll understand the very basics of starting up an app. Then we're going to talk about widgets, what widgets are, how they work, how the hierarchy sort of works and things like that. So without further ado, let's actually get started and let's talk about the basics of Tkinter. So I'm just going to close this demo UI right here and we have this code right in front of us. So the first thing you want to do is you want to import Tkinter. So you can see we're doing it right here. Next, inside your main function, we're going to define a window variable. This variable will be equal to tkinter.tk. So tk is the top level widget in our hierarchy. So more on the hierarchy part later, but essentially what you need to understand for now is that this is the fundamental building block of the application. So this is the root level. This is like the foundation of the application. Everything else will be built on top of it. So it's like this giant container, which will contain all our widgets later on. Next, we will say window.main loop. So here again, this window, it can be named anything. So you can call this root, you can call this tk window or whatever you like, as long as you use the same variable name here and you're referring to the same object. So I'll explain what main loop does in a second, but for now, I'm just going to run this so I can show you what's going on. So you can see here, we just launched our small application. It's blank. It's very basic. There's nothing in it, but this is our window. And this is being launched using the main loop. So how does the main loop work? It is essentially, it follows what it's named after. So it is a loop. It's an infinite loop that Tkinter runs and it will keep going until you close the application right here. So this loop will keep on going and it will listen to events. So more on events later, but essentially that's how it works. So this is how Tkinter works behind the scenes. And by doing so, by running this loop, it will block any additional code that you have after it. So what do I mean by this? So I'm just going to add this line right here. So print high, and I'm going to print this after I launch my application. So let me just run this code and show you what happens. So I'm just going to open up my console right here. So you can see nothing was printed, nothing for now. Now, when I close the application, you'll see that high was printed out and then the code was finished. It, it finished executing. So why did this happen? Why was high blocked from being printed? Like I said, this will launch of an infinite loop and it will block any code that comes after it. So any code is totally blocked by the main loop until you close the application. So the loop will keep on going until the application is closed. So hopefully you understand this because it kind of helps to understand what's going on when we're executing it and not just memorizing that, okay, I'll just use the main loop to execute my Tkinter app. All right. So the next thing you can do, you can add a title to your app. So if you run it again, you can see that if we add Tkinter first app as a title, so let me just run it. You see here that I'm just going to resize it. So if I open it up, it says Tkinter first app. So this is how we were able to rename our screen. So the window now has a title. The next thing you can do is you can change the geometry. So by geometry, we mean like height and width. So we say 600 by 400. So a width of 600 and a height of 400. Again, I'm going to run the app. Let me just run it. And you can see right here that it says Tkinter first app. And now the screen is much larger upon launch. It's still resizable, but this is essentially the, the size that you will see when you launch the app. Okay. So now we have the app. We have the very basic part of the app. We want to add some widgets. So what are widgets in Tkinter? Essentially widgets are anything that you can see on the screen. They're labels, buttons, entries, so like text boxes, things like that. And it's also other things such as containers, such as frames. But for now, let's just say widgets are all these little building blocks that you can add to your application. So we said that this window guy, he's the foundation. And now we're putting stuff on top of it. 
And these are the building blocks, and these are our widgets. So widgets, they follow the object-oriented programming principles. So now I'm just going to start by adding two widgets for the sake of example. So um, let me just add that function. OK, so we'll talk more about the function in a minute, but let me talk about the label and the button first. So I just added these two lines of code. So like I said, everything in a tkinter app is a widget. So here the label is a widget and the button is a widget. Labels are, I'm sure you're familiar with them, they're just text on the screen. So any text that you can see on the screen is a label. And buttons are those things that you click so that other stuff can happen. Okay, so first, before I go too deep into explaining these, I'm just going to explain another principle. Let me first run the app and show you what's going on. So for now, the app is still blank, and we need to understand why. So in tkinter, simply defining a label or a button just by defining them does not help. You need to add them to your container or to your window using geometry managers. So geometry managers are things like pack, grid, and place. So I'm not going to go into too much detail for, about them right now. Anyways, for now, what you can do is you will say label.pack and button.pack. And now if I run it, you will see that we added the label and the button. So let me go through the code now and see what we did. So first I defined a label and I said tkinter.label. So this is a class. So in tkinter, it's very important to know Python object oriented programming. So here these are objects and they're instances of the class label. So label object is an instance of class label. All right. So I define my label, then I pass window. So here I'm saying the parent for label should be window. What does parent mean? It means that the label belongs to our window, which is this guy right here. So it's inside this container. Next, I will say text. So text is simply hello world, which is like what text will be displayed in the label. And you can see it right here. So again, label is just text on a screen. Next, I define my button. So here again, I say tkinter.button. So this is a class and this object is an instance of this class. Also, its parent is window. So it has the same parent as the label. And then I say the text, hello world, and then I give it a command. So the command here is hello. So the command hello actually refers to this function right here. So we define the function hello, and what it does is simply print out hello world. So what happens if I actually press the button? You can see that if I bring this guy up and I press hello world, it will print out hello world in the console. So if I press it again, you'll see that it is printing out hello world. So this is what command does. It basically says in the event that the button is pressed, so it's an event, something occurred. When the button is pressed, go to function hello and do whatever it has. So we go to function hello, we print out hello world, and that's it. It, it works. So it prints out hello world. So we were able to create these two widgets. Like I said, the widgets are building blocks. We created these two widgets and we added them to our interface using pack. So pack, like I said, is one of three geometry managers. Essentially what it does is it, it places the widgets inside blocks, kind of. So like I said, building blocks and just places all of them in the container. Here, the container is window itself. So it packs the label and the button into the container. There are other geometry managers such as grid or place. I'm going to talk more in depth about them in the next video, so stay tuned for that. But essentially, this is what pack does. All right, so now we've created a button and a label. Let me talk a bit about the hierarchy that goes into tkinter application. So I mentioned before that this window is the root. It's like the lowest level and everything else is built on top of it or is contained inside it. So think of it like a container and inside it, we have the label and the button. So the hierarchy can actually go for multiple levels. So think of it like this. I can have a window and inside the window, I can have a frame and inside the frame, I can have the label and the buttons. So how am I going to do this? I'm going to do this like so. So you can see here, I added a frame. So you can see tkinter.frame. It it, the parent of it is a window and then I just frame.pack obviously. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to change this and say frame here and change this and say frame. Now I'm going to run it and explain my code in just a second. So let me run it. So you have the same output. Again, if you press hello world, it also prints out hello world. Everything looks the same. So what really, what just happened? 
So here's what we did. I'm just going to move this right here. Okay, so here's what we did. We have our window, so we've talked about the window plenty. Then we created a frame. So a frame is a type of container. Now here the frame is kind of overkill because we only have two widgets or two elements, but I'm just doing this for the sake of example. So we created this container. So think of it like this. We have a window and it's a giant container. So I have this box. I place another box inside it, which is the frame. And then inside the second box, so inside the frame, I place the label and the button. So you can see here the parent for label is frame and the parent for button is frame as well. And the parent for frame is window. So here, this is how the hierarchy looks like. Your root will always be the main window and then everything else is sort of nested inside of it. So here it's a hierarchy. And this is kind of how the hierarchy works. You can also understand a, a bit about the hierarchy using the print method. So let's say here, if I um, print button, uh, actually just string button, so I convert the button into a string, this should get me the path. So if I stop and run again, you can see it says dot frame dot button. So here it's saying that it's essentially the root and then the child is frame and then the child is button. So this is like the path. You can also do the same for label. I'm going to stop and run it again. If I scroll down, you'll see it has a similar path. So essentially, this is how the hierarchies work. There's a root and the root always has children and they're sort of nested inside each other. What's the point of printing? I was just trying to demonstrate how we can retrieve this path using the string. However, if we're now, you can just understand that nesting is possible. This is how widgets work in tkinter by applying roots and nesting stuff inside of each other. And yeah, that's really it for the basics. As of this video, you sort of understand how to build your first application. You know the, how widgets work, what widgets are essentially, and how you can nest widgets. In the following video, I'm going to talk a bit more about geometry management. Then I'll follow up talking individually about different widgets, such as buttons, labels, like with more detail, entries, things like that. And finally, we'll end by building a project. So that's really it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.